Look at that. Shiny new badge. I just got promoted today. It's quite something, isn't it? D did I ever tell you? It was a time I wanted to be a policeman as well. Chris. Chris. What? Do you love me? The truth? Just... Just answer the question. I don't think I can keep on doing this stuff if I didn't think you did. Of course I do. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. It's one of those things you can't seem to forget. I still wonder if I did the right thing. My name is John. I'm a private detective. And this is a story of my last case. The truth is a risky business to get involved in. It gets messy real quick. This whole thing started five weeks ago, as I visited the home of Richard and Paul White. Are you married, John? No, I just got divorced. Do you have any children? Yeah, I have a five-year-old daughter. John, I'm dying. <laughs> the doctors tell me I've got eight months, maybe less. My stepdaughter, she left home about three years ago. I don't know what's happened to her. No one's been able to find her. But they say you're good at what you do. I need to know what's happened to her. I don't care what it is. I really need to know. We tried the NMPU years ago. I haven't tried myself, but... Listen. If you need any help, just let me know. In cases like this, there's a small chance that they'll be alright. Especially young teenagers. I think about how many of them are out there now. And how many more will there be. I found out that Richard did try to find her through the NMPU. But someone had put a stop to it. Hey man, it's me. I think we have a problem. It's about your sister's files. Call me back in five minutes. Paul White. I should arrest you for that, Lou. Sit down. You're a funny bloke, aren't you? What can I do for you today? I've got a shipment arriving. Four days. You think you can handle it? You know I can. Just depends on the figures. Is that enough, big boy? I figured it would be best to look for Alona first. You know, she told me that her stepbrother raped her for over a year. That's why she ran away. I guess Paul found out that I found Alona and decided to send me a message. Shut me up. Next time it'll be for real. This was getting too personal. I had to do something. choice but to go back to Richard and report what I'd found out. 
I, uh, I came across this photo the other day. I never really cared much for photos. Now I can't seem to get enough. I always thought Paul had done something to her. I'd always denied it, but it's just that I was never there for her. I just wish life was as simple as a photograph. So did you find her? Yeah, I found her. How is she? She's fine. She didn't want to come back. But she's doing all right. It was the first time I'd lied to a client. I still wonder if I did the right thing. How good for her. I always believed that people needed to know the truth. But maybe not this time. The case was done. Except for one last piece of business I had to attend to. Remember your little note? Don't you ever threaten my daughter. And don't threaten me. If I ever feel like someone's following me, I'll make sure everybody finds out exactly what it is you do. A few months later, Richard had passed away sooner than expected. Paul showed up at the funeral and has been laying low ever since. As for me, I took the advice of a dying man and never looked back. You said you had a daughter. I suggest you spend as much time as you can with her. They grow up pretty fast. A table for one Busy bistro, a book in the library With so much spare time for this pain in my heart Is my solution, dilution by tears Still, I can't find myself a way to rise above the pain Being a loner, when we're conspicuous People can't see us when we're alone, we're just alone.